Phillips here, and welcome to episode 4 of Modding the Bedrock Edition. I think that's what we're going to call it, anyway. So today we're doing loot kits, guys. Now, in front of me I've got 5 villagers, okay? Now, they're really noisy, I haven't actually qu quite figured out how to make them silent yet. But I think it is possible, some people have told me it is, so... Anyway, I got this dirt because I got some trades to do with these guys. So, this one here is got the water kit. Now, this is how I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? It's very easy, but I've got a few questions, like people asking me, can you do the kits for me? So, I'm going to do it. So, i got a farmer kit here, and this dude is crimson kit, and the last one is a dragon kit. I mean, these aren't that amazing, guys. I've just quickly put these together, but as you can see, it says water kit, look, farmer kit, crimson kit, and a dragon kit, okay? Now, I'm just going to clear all these like that, pretty straightforward. Yes, I'm on Windows 10, if you didn't know. <laughs> this is how you mod the game, okay? You can't mod it else. Um, so, yeah, water kit, pretty rubbish. <laughs> Obviously, it's just a load of sponges and water stuff. Um, farmer, same sort of thing, but you get the idea, but I mean, if you were playing this on a server, you could break that look, and yeah, you could put whatever you want in chest, basically. Uh, we got here a dragon kit, which is just a dragon head, a dragon egg, and some dragon's breath. Rubbish. And then we got the crimson kit, okay, which is just some purple armor, basically. Because the crimson's purple. Um, so yeah, again, I'm just going to clear my hotbar, pretty straightforward. But this guy at the end, he's just he was just called the tutorial kit villager. But when you name tag villagers, it actually removes them unless you do it on the actual Universal Minecraft editor. So what I'm going to do is go through how I've done this, okay? So right next to me here, I've got a chest and an anvil. Now this is how you do it, guys. So if you grab yourself a chest, and I've got all these things I want to put inside it, okay? So now if I get my chest... Put it on the ground, put whatever I want in there, in whatever order, it can be however you want it, just a chest basically, like that. Now if I clear my hotbar again, like this, now if you pick block this it just says a chest, right? But if you actually, oop, if you pick block it and hold a control, you get chest plus data. Now this actually has all my stuff in it, let's see. I can just keep placing it around. Oop. See what I mean? Pretty straightforward, yeah? So I'm just actually gonna break all them because I don't like having a mess around me. Um, so that is that. So I don't actually need that anymore. So that is my chest with data, look. Now, you can rename it in an anvil like you can on every item, basically. So I've already got the color code thing there. So I'm just going to call this butter kit, like that, okay? Rename that, pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to just chuck that in there, that didn't go in there did it? Okay, I'm going to type in clear again, get rid of my hotbar, because I only want this in my hotbar now, okay? So this is all you do and then you would go Next to your villager you want to edit, make sure before you actually edit him you've actually looked at his trades because they won't pop up else. So yeah, if you go right next to him, save and exit, and then we're going on Universal Minecraft Editor. Just wait for this to load up. That's that. I've got it loaded up down here. So it's called Kit Tutorial, pretty straightforward. Going to hop to my player. Yes, I've had quite a few people in here testing stuff out and playing around. So I'm looking at my position tags, okay? So I need to go minus 18 and minus 45, because we need to round up, okay? Now these are all the villagers that are all together, but it should be the one that's closest to me. Fingers crossed. Nope, it might be this one then, the one furthest away. Yes. So we got here normal trades, like from a villager. Now if we go back up here in this top arrow here, we go back to our local player, go to our inventory, control C, copy that, go back to the chunk, delete one of them, doesn't really matter, delete the cell thing, because this is what we're going to get. So paste that in there, double click on that, 
type in cell, pretty straightforward. <laughs> you can change this to whatever you want it to be. So if I want it to be, I don't know, four pieces of clay balls, <laughs> I can, you know, pretty straightforward, okay? So that is it, guys, to be honest. Um, I'll just quickly show you it in action. I'll just change in the trade tier just so he doesn't get any more trades. Yes, you can set that to loads of nine, so I'm just doing it like this for now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just save and exit. That's all saved. Exit out of there. Hop back on the game. When it loads up. Okay, that just crashed on me. <laughs> I think sometimes my computer doesn't like it when I've got loads of things on the go. Anyway, we're back loaded now. Let's go back on it. We should have a villager that sells us a butter kit. Come on. Here we go. So this is our villager. I'm going to grab some clay balls in a minute. Exactly four. And we're going to go on him. He's got the butter kit there, look. Pretty straightforward. Buy it. Place it. And there's my kit. Alright guys. <laughs> so easy. But I've been requested. You know, it's being requested. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. That's episode four. Uh, modding with Bedrock Edition. With Universal Minecraft Editor. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Darren Sprubs. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> oh my god.